Hi, this is Carlos from RC Advisor. I just flew the third prototype of the Pickerel design, and um, I think uh, I think I might be done. Um, it was in the best conditions, and that's always what happens. You know, finish the design. I'm really anxious to see it fly, um, but you know, today is Friday. That and flying on the weekend tends to be harder because the, there's a lot of people at the parks. So. The choice was, you know, either take a chance right now, uh, you know, Friday at 4 p.m. or wait until Monday. And I didn't want to wait until Monday, you know, I really want to see what's going on so that uh, if there are ma major problems, either major problems or it flies great so I can go to the next step. So anyway, the wind, uh, the forecast is saying about 12 miles an hour, which is probably about right, you know, maybe 15, up to 15. The problem is that it's very gusty and that tends to happen in the middle of the afternoon. Uh, the wind will go constantly shifting direction and changing speed. Uh, it, you know, there will, there will be long periods, there will be like no wind, then all of a sudden it will get really strong. Uh, it was coming from the west but then for a while it was coming from the north. And that's just the way it goes in the middle of the afternoon. So anyway, I took this to the park and it's just me running out there. Um, so it, it's, it's hard for me to shoot video because I'm, I'm doing a hand launch of a prototype design which is which I don't recommend that you do but you know that's I've gotten used to it that's how I always tend to do it you know I go to the park when there's nobody there and so anyway so I went out um, did a hand launch and it flew straight and level you know without any control input for like maybe 30 feet which I thought was just great because that, that's exactly what I see with, with this one which is the half size version uh, but then the minute I gave it some control input it was just way too much so the, the control surfaces are, are just way too big I, I landed, reprogrammed the transmitter, I cut everything down to 50% and that seems to be all right so I think maybe 50% on the um, on the size of the of the elevons is probably is probably right, and again, the, I, other than cutting down to fifty percent, I haven't done any programming on the transmitter, of course, other than the the mixing <coughs> for the elevon. So anyway, uh, then I, then I ran into another problem which I saw coming, uh, and I, I didn't mention this before, but I actually built this wrong, and it, it you might be able to tell. But the, the motor is actually about half an inch to the left of the airplane than is supposed to be in the center line. Okay, so, so it's about half an inch this way. And I noticed that when I was building it and you know one of those things I saw it after I had cut the slide and it's like okay, you know, it doesn't seem like it's that much. Well, so the airplane just wants to go to the right, which you know makes perfect sense because the motor is on the left side and it's pushing. So uh, that was the next problem I had to deal with and you know it was just wanted to go to the right but it was flying around and so I landed, I gave it uh, quite a bit of left trim and that mostly took care of it, of course you know it's a, it's a motor offset issue, it's not really an airplane trim issue so if I had changes, if I, if, 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 when I, whenever I made changes to the throttle it's going to affect that trim because you know it's really the motor and you know that's the only real solution I mean of course I could do a programmable mix but that gets complicated for a prototype like this I don't want to have to deal with that um, so anyway I flew around um, it uh, I think I think you can use a rotor see it can be hard to tell because it was very gusty and you know most of the time it will fly around fine but then a gust hits it and then you know then it kind of it gets gets pushed to the side. It's, it's, it flies very slowly, so you know it's not something that you want to fly with with the wind, especially when it, when it's gusty like that. So I think a rotor will help. You know, probably needs to be tested in calm conditions to see how bad it really is. Um, but other than that, you know, it, it it it's got tons of power because the whole airplane doesn't weigh that much. It. Um, it was stable enough, you know. Uh, again, you know, it would. I mean, of course, it doesn't have a lot of wingspan, and it doesn't have a lot of. Uh, it, the size is just small in pitch, also. 
So, so it's very maneuverable, which again, I, I saw this coming from the beginning uh, uh, since I started working on the design, but that's, that's the idea, it's supposed to be fun. So anyway, I was flying around and all of a sudden a gust came and it just flipped it over on me. And I was like six feet from the ground. I think I, get, I probably gave it up instead of down, so the nose came down. Uh, nose hit on the ground and it, and it cartwheeled, which it, it's, it wasn't pretty. So, so I, I broke it, but it's actually very minor damage. You know, I, I cracked the foam here, which is you know, the weak spot there. Uh, the, the leading edge towel came unglued. And there's a small crack here, and I think that was it. And of course, you know, the receiver and speed control, you know, they came off, but that, there's nothing to that. So, this is a very easy fix. Um, I, I don't know, I, what I'm tempted to do is, is con, you know, call this done, and then build one with some, some minor changes, and, and shoot videos of me building it. I, I know I want to make this leading edge towel, um, the next size bigger, uh, but I already, I already knew that. I need to cut those half in half. I'm gonna move this back. You know, I think right now it's two and a half inches, so maybe just one inch. Uh, I need to tweak this so this is not sticking out. I think that's it. I think that's it. You know, the CG, the CG was a little bit behind the, the step here, you know, the cutout, and it, it, I thought it was great. You know, it probably can be pushed further back, but you know, I didn't try it because I thought it was it was flying just fine. I think I, I think I will add it harder, um, just to um, just to um, see what that does. But I think I think it will help. But otherwise, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think it's meeting all the goals. You know, real simple build, and uh, and uh, just a lot of fun to fly too. And of course, you know, it's very unusual looking and and all of that. So anyway, I'm I'm pretty happy, and. Uh, Till next time.